This is Jack Alexander from Lithium Magazine. I'm sitting here with the delicatest of musicians, New Jersey's finest. Uh, the best thing to come out from New Jersey since a bunch of Italian dudes, really. Yeah. Arguably. Yeah. Arguably. Arguably. Yeah. Arguably better. You know? so this say. is uh, Delicate Steve, recently Hello. dropped his uh, album Positive Force. And I gotta tell you, uh, Afria Talks to You has been on my playlist on repeat for months now. Cool. How does it, where did the album come from? Uh, came from long bike rides and uh, the stretching after bike rides, mostly bike rides. What's your favorite sport? I know uh, you fancy yourself an athlete. I like to bike. You like to bike? I like to bike, I like Speed to run. Speed biking or endurance biking? Um, endurance mostly, or just not like, a, yeah, I guess distance biking. On the road. I like to ride on the road. Like to piss off drivers? and No, there's not a lot of drivers, not a lot of cars where I live in New Jersey. No. So not a lot of people to yeah. aggravate. Good. Uh, you're stopping by the Silver Dollar here in, uh, in Toronto. And uh, ever since uh, your last stop in, in Canada, I've been following you closely. You played uh, the Horseshoe Tavern with Akron Family. And after that, you went to Hamilton, played in a church. Yeah. Can you describe that a little bit for me? I mean, I know I was blown away but yeah it was how awesome. feel? a lot of fun um just felt special to be playing in a place like that everyone's sitting down um it sounded beautiful where we were on stage because we were kind of right in the middle um yeah it's remember being a lot of fun it I, sounded a lot better than the horseshoe okay, even the yeah. horseshoes yeah yeah wonderful i but, mean yeah. yeah we would love to continue to play in churches if we could make that happen Absolutely. The uh, Afria talks to you that I mentioned. So, do you fancy Sly and the Family Stone a big influence? Yeah. Or was it just a play? Where did that come from? The name, especially. Um, that was just one way to 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 like call those guys back, pay a little tribute. To why, Sly. Mi why misspell it? Uh, I've been wondering this since I first saw the name. I'd rather not say. Yeah. Reason, yeah. Oh, okay. Just like let it be up to your interpretation of whatever that means to you. All right. Whoever or whatever Afria may be. Oh, that's 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 all right. Yeah. Uh, on on this album, um, as, as with your previous album, Wonder Visions, um, I noticed something very interesting about the sound, and it's that you mic your guitar dry, as a in addition to. The amplified sound. Yeah. How did you How did you come up? I've never heard that before. Um, how did you? F I I record bands, other bands. Yeah. Um, I don't know how good of a job I've always done. Um, I never know really how to get a punchy guitar sound, and so that was just an idea that I first implemented on my own music. I said, like you know. Maybe I'll try to mic the strings so I can blend in some more attack because on a clean guitar sounds I've never been able to make it feel like very alive feeling just making the amp up close. So that was just a just a something to try. And it I'd sounds like, like nothing else. It's oh, cool. It's it's very cool. It's yeah, very interesting. Yeah. I'd like to try to do that yeah. live, but I didn't know how to Thing of you probably get a microphone yeah. or a contact mic. Yeah. Yeah. That would be that would be interesting. But I mean, everything. So, I, have you used uh, have you used slides before? I don't I don't recall hearing any slides on on Wonder Visions. Is that um, there were a couple, one slide or two slides. Butterfly and um, Don't Get Stuck. That song with a slide. But um, I've been playing for a couple of years. Slide guitar. Um, tried to use learn how to play after really being into uh, Dwayne Allman from the Allman Brothers. Um, so he would probably be the reason I picked up a slide, tried to figure out how to play. You seem to be pretty into um, older stuff uh, for the most part, but you're a big fan of Flea. Flea? Flea. And the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. I yeah. love Flea. Yeah. I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You, uh, you, you ever play bass? Uh, I dabble. You don't. I don't. I can't. I'm 
think Flea's a, I think Flea's a great bass player. I'm gonna tri a tribute to Flea by playing Naked one day? Maybe. Maybe that's a possibility. We, we did a, a Halloween Red Hot Chili Peppers cover set. Um, not, uh, not this past Halloween, but like a year ago. Um, it was 92 era chilies, and so it was more about the underwear and the funky pants than the naked. So we held true to that era. That was a lot of funky pants. A lot of funky pants. So do you do you draw inspiration from from any, any newer stuff or old Chili Peppers and old Sly and old um, Almond? A lot like, of new stuff. Uh, doesn't really feel like there's a time timing because it's still so much older music to be discovered um, but uh, everybody we've toured with in the past two years have all been bands that we've really loved so they've all been influences Tune Yards and Yaysayer and um, got to play some shows with Dustin Wong who's a guitar player and played in the band Ponytail who was an influence um, Deerhoof's another band and Dirty Projectors and um, a lot of really awesome bands Little Women is another great band yeah. you were featured in our uh, Discovery Hour podcast um, along with the Dirty Projectors actually in the uh, last episode so cool. that's, that's that's pretty cool sweet I'll be, I'll be sure to plug this in there sweet um, so what's on your playlist now what do you listen to when you're on the road when you're driving in your van that's parked outside um Who's driving, first of all? We all split the driving yeah. equally, yeah. so there's five of us. Yeah. So that's... That's all right. Yeah, that's it's all right. Do you sleep in the van? Oh, uh, we try. Yeah? We do. I've always wondered how a, a, a van band of five people gets to sleep yeah. on the road. There's a lounge in there. In the, in the, the, in the second van. second uh, bench yeah. is the lounge yeah. spot. So you have bunks? We don't have bunks, no. You sleep on top of each other? We don't sleep in each other. If somebody wants to do a combo, we call yeah. it a combo. Yeah. That means the two that would be sitting on that bench, one will sleep on the bench and the other will sleep on the floor. Huh. So you can ask to combo with your bench partner, and that's what that means. That sounds very intimate. Yeah. You guys, you guys are intimate on stage and off. We are. Yeah. 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 Your onstage chemistry is, is great too. Um, are these guys are these the same guys you've been touring with from before? Yes, except for Jeremy, our drummer, who we just started playing with him uh, about six months ago. So he's pretty new, but we have a great time with him. Yeah, I don't know if it was the, the Hamilton Church or, or if it was just the chemistry between you guys, but um, I, I don't know. If, I, I really hope that you can live up to that tonight. There's yeah. a challenge for you. Yeah. We love Cause, Jones because you know that's uh, that's a big reason why I've been following Delicate Steve and and uh, you know even Akron to a certain to some extent. But you know what? You've opened for Akron. We have, and you blew him out of the water. I gotta say. Oh wow! Everybody that that was there was thoroughly warmed up by the time that you by the time that you were done. Awesome. You know? Yeah, that was it felt really fun. Um, Although I remember their set in the church being amazing as well. And that was one of uh, my favorite times seeing those guys on our whole tour because they played a more intimate set. And so that was awesome to watch those guys play too. So what's next for Delicate Steve? Uh, as a person and a musician? Get home in December. Um, Christmas time. Snow. Uh, do you bike in the snow? No, I, I, I'll do some running now. Half marathon coming up in January. So train for that. And we're going to be touring the rest of 2013 and keep making music, make some new tunes. You've done a lot of uh, traveling with your touring and, and not with your touring. You know, you've, you've gone to some places in the past year that you've been pretty excited about. What's, your, what's been your favorite? Um... Went to India for uh, about a month. That was amazing. Um, Any musical influences you're gonna pick up from that? Um, yeah, I met a lot of great people over there that that uh, totally keeping in touch with and really inspired by. And yeah, the whole trip was uh, 
another just another life changing experience along the along the way. Are you are you happy that you're in Toronto during this time of challenge in New Jersey? Or do you want to be back Sandy, home? You're saying. Yeah. Um, you want to be back home rebuilding? Well, we just got power three or four days before we left for tour, so we had we didn't have power for a week, and um, other than that, we were pretty lucky. No trees fell on our house or any of our houses. Um, yeah, it would be nice. A lot of our friends from Brooklyn are doing a lot of really special things. To, uh, like donating their time to uh, to help in the Rockaways and playing benefit shows and raising a lot of money, so it would be really cool to be back there. But hopefully in December we could do something. What's next uh, for you on the tour? Where are you heading? Tomorrow is um, Detroit, and that's just the one overnight drive. Uh, we'll drive there tomorrow morning. You guys yeah. are you guys are working hard. We are. We yeah. are indeed. We're doing doing a lot of shows. We are. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, this is Delicate Steve. Go get Positive Force. And while you're at it, go get Wonder Visions. Do it.